Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. And the first news we got this week has been the Community Showcase, which I haven't seen in a long while, so it's pretty good it's back, even though it wasn't really dead, but still there's a lot of course more uh, community stuff right now since the expansion just launched and everyone's still hyped about the Atlas and everything else. So you can see some awesome fan art here by Joshka, some more incredible fan art by Shivor. Again, crazy fan art. Uh, can't pronounce that name, I'm sorry. Also, some real life stuff. You can check out all of these. And also, some 3D modeling, pretty damn good uh, modeling, I must say. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to check them out, I'll put the link in the description below. Really great stuff by the community. And just as it's kind of become usual, GGG posted uh, Essence League statistics. And this is only uh, 10 days into the leagues, so it's not uh, that surprising that just a couple probably people completed all, uh, or rather at least 36 challenges being able to acquire the Essence Portal effect. This percentage is probably much lower, but it doesn't really matter. You can actually also see that except those who probably quit at level 5, uh, there's a kind of a better retain. I mean, those who start kind of get to a good number of challenges, which of course you just get them uh, progressing through the game normally, but I am going to bet uh, the retain is much better this time, even though most of the updates are actually in the end game. And of course, uh, the drop in the challenges is really steep, but again, it's the 10th day of the league uh, when this post was made, so it's not surprising that it really goes down. And you can also see uh, the 24th, that just a little bit higher, than the previous ones, that's because there's the back attachment at that point, even though the back attachment this time, let's be honest, it's probably not really motivating too many people, but the portal is, so everyone's going to pass through that anyway. And we can also see some of the most used unique items, both in the normal leagues and in the hardcore leagues, and it's pretty much the usual things, you get your tabula rasa, you get your uh, leveling jewels, and then once you get out of the leveling phase, you have, of course, a Zivis Flask, Energy from Within, since everyone is going to be CI, Rumi's Concoction, extremely powerful flask, Vessel of Vintar, same as Rumi's, and all the kind of stuff, it's not really different for Harker. There's Energy from Within again, Rumi's again, a Zivis Flask again, Count's Art coming up pretty damn high, so, yeah, I think Count's Art is still there, it's not as... Uh, godly as it was in the good old days, but it's still pretty damn good. Also, uh, one thing I find kind of impressive is in the Arcor League, Race Zombie makes it into the top 10 for the most used skill at level 90 plus. And yeah, I mean, Race Zombie is, is quite interesting. I didn't think there would be so many summoners, although I know zombies and minions in general are pretty safe, so good skills for hardcore leagues. I'm pretty surprised that zombies are actually in there, but yeah, that's probably just me. Anyway, finally, it's going on again, the ZD and community uh, kind of joined the F14 making a new unique item, and you can vote now for the name of the item and the flavor text. There is actually a poll right above this post here, but I'm not gonna show it because uh, I don't want to spoil the results, which are not ended yet, so you might want to vote just uh, based on everything. You can uh, read ki this kind of recap if you want to remember how this item actually works, because, I mean, it's been a long time since we actually seen it again. And here are the six different choices we've been given by GGG, uh, and GGG selected these choices from a thread, a special thread, where people kind of put uh, their own uh, uh, input in there. So this is, these are six 
phrases and names which people thought and you might vote for one I voted the one I believed was the most appropriate for the item and so should do you I mean there's really nothing else to do except uh, just reading them up thinking what will fit the item better and uh, putting up your vote I wonder uh, if there's going to be uh, more steps to this but hopefully they are going to come up soon uh, rather than later also the build of the week is back once again for season 6 this is the first episode it's a ranger it's a dead eye which uses barrage as its main skill and several volley fire projectiles which basically spread uh, the barrage to hit in a very wide cone rather than be very precise and as you can see it's kind of obliterating everything that's also because uh, beside having a very strong bow and using these other kind of tricks we just said it's also crit as you can see so crit always wrecks pretty much everything in this game uh, even yourself if you're not careful and it's also using poison so whether be it from the gem or from the passives Poison is extremely strong and as you can see there's pretty much nothing that stands in its way so I mean on one side it's your very generic crit bow build on the other side it uses barrage it uses volley fires so it's pretty unique in that way and yeah definitely like it it also uses the Voltaxis Reef unique bow which now uh, is probably pretty cheap used to be extremely expensive once but now it's just another bow so pretty interesting it's used to deal with reflect as I said uh, crit manages to kill yourself as well as enemies so there we go that's the first episode of build of the week so expect to see more especially thanks to um, the start of the leagues so everyone just trying new builds out maybe we'll get to see the mines barrage build for the number one uh, hardcore ladder guy or something else we'll see about that but anyway we also got a new development manifesto post and it's all about the atlas and there's a couple or rather several things we're gonna just check them briefly there's going to be an update on sextant mods so sextant are as almost as rare as GGG wants them to even though I believe they are way too fucking rare but that's just me maybe I just found two uh, in 86 levels in about 75 maps or so so I believe they are very low but anyway GGG believes maybe uh, they could uh, increase a little bit the drop rate of the first one but they're not going to increase the other ones they are however going to uh, make the mods better to increase the reward to make them feel worthwhile also they're going to add a recipe for sextant so that's going to be pretty interesting adjustments to the allowed ground a unique map will be made especially because right now you can drop any kind of map from uh, any part of the atlas um, so that's way too strong considering that's a way level low level map so they're probably going to gather that a bit also they're going to tinker a bit with the drop of maps from Aziri because they don't want people who run Aziri to gain an unfair advantage on the Atlas but they also don't want them to be completely left out so they're trying some uh, some things which might or might not work we'll see about that and also there's going to be some uh, improvements to the UI of the Atlas like clicking on a map will uh, select the map kind of will show you where the map is I believe uh, there should just be a search within the map um, UI so they can just search like you want to search for Academy where is Academy bam you just look at that and that's pretty interesting also uh, they're going to be to upgrade a bit of the graphic there which is pretty good for example the triangles spikes around the map uh, mean that you have completed and you have completed it and you got the bonus I really didn't realize that because I just do maps once and complete all of them so maybe uh, they're going to look a bit better I also think uh, the UI of the Atlas should uh, be able to uh, zo be zoomed in a little bit more 
it kind of feels uh, I don't know from from the full view you can barely recognize the symbols so there's really uh, they kind of lose meaning where you can barely see them but anyway that's not all we still got another small patch beside adding a lot of cool uh, microtrans new microtransactions there's some more 3d art for two tone boots always good there was one web 3d art and now all three variation do you can also change uh, the auto reply message so that's pretty good uh, it's not compatible with dnd or afk modes of course that makes sense and several boss rooms are being kind of reworked and uh, what they're changing is the position of the packs of monsters to not be very close to the entrance so that you do not get overwhelmed hopefully they will also change your pet so that it doesn't aggro everything as soon as it enters putting you in a very dangerous spot and of course the usual several bug fixes which are always pretty damn good so anyway i think it was all for this week if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel so that was all I've been your host, Tarzan, and I'll see you guys the next time.